Hey guys, welcome to the wild side and this week we're talking all about this species right here. This is a three-banded armadillo native to Brazil. We're back here at the Abilene Zoo in Abilene, Texas. So let's walk on the wild side of the three-banded armadillo. Three-banded armadillos get their name because of this. Look, right here on their back. One, two, three bands. Now here in the state of Texas, we have nine banded armadillos that call our great state home. But we also have six banded armadillos in uh, South America. There are pink fairy armadillos, giant armadillos, 11 banded armadillos. In fact, there's over 11 different species of armadillo found in Central and South America. Now armadillos are kind of hard to tell apart. They might all look the same to you and me, but look right here on her head. This head plate is like the fingerprint for each and every armadillo. Now this is little Ella. So Ella will have a different head plate than her mother and father that live here at the Abilene Zoo. Their head plate is made of the same thing that their very hard back is made of. And you have something that matches that same structure on your body. Any guesses? It's your fingernails. Right here. They've got kind of the world's largest fingernail covering their entire body. That keeps them safe from predators because look at this tiny little belly here. This real squishy little belly right here can be attacked by jaguar, anaconda, birds of prey. So as they're moving around and if they get threatened, the three-banded armadillo is the only animal, animal of its species on the planet that can do this. It can get its tail and its head and lock them together like a triangle and they can ball up completely into their own personal pokeball. That'll keep them safe from any kind of predator trying to get at them. Now, as they move around the Amazon rainforest, they're using their really cute nose and long tongue to eat what they love to munch on. They're insectivores. They love to eat bugs like ants and worms, termites. They'll suck up their food and munch on it. They'll have pretty poor eyesight, but an amazing sense of smell and a great sense of hearing. Not only does that help them to find food, but it also helps them to stay safe against their predators. Now, as they're moving around, they're moving on these amazing toes. Look at the toes. You see that? The toes of the armadillo help you to understand what they're related to. Any guesses? Well, I'll give you a clue. We featured both of their relatives here on the wild side in the past. Ant eaters and sloths. Now, if you think about a sloth, they're using those hooked feet to hang on the tree branches, where ant eaters walk on the sides of their feet, moving around the Amazon, looking for their big mounds to use their big tongue to slop up food. In fact, if you want to learn more about the giant ant eater, click this link right here on YouTube and head back to the Wild Side Past episodes from season one and learn about the giant ant eater, also filmed here at the Abilene Zoo. Now, although the three-banded armadillo is not a critically endangered, endangered or even threatened species, their habitat is in desperate need of your help. You see, we lose a football field length of rainforest each hour that ticks by on planet Earth. You can help. Reduce what you use. Recycle. And of course, do not support the trade of exotic wildlife from their native habitat. These animals don't make good pets. And I don't advise you try to make any exotic animal a member of your family. If you want a furry family member, always adopt. Don't shop. And shop domestic. Uh, adopt domestic. Dogs, cats, things of that nature. Leave the exotics to the professionals like those keepers here at the Abilene Zoo. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure to introduce you once again to an incredible species just like this. I have to tell you something, this is one of my favorite animals of all time, the three-banded armadillo. So we'll see you next week when we highlight yet another of your favorite species. Until then, stay wild, conservation rules, and remember, armadillos, they don't make good pets. How about some worms? What do you think? I hear the cafeteria here at the zoo serving them today. It's a Friday special. Bye, everybody.